Hey, welcome back everybody. I am back with a new break here. I haven't broken these on my channel yet. I haven't done the light or the actual hobby boxes. This is the Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary 2021 edition. Um, in this one, you're going to find your four exclusive black and white mini diamond parallels inside. As always, you know, you, you have your, your chances for your autos and your short print items. But, uh, yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't opened any of these online yet. I've only done one in a shop. So, let's see what all we can get out of here. Looks like, uh, Shift it around a little bit here. Let's fill up that space. They put in some styrofoam. Inside. So each of these packs is going to have four cards. I'll put them up in groups of five. And one group of six. Um, all right. So how's everybody doing tonight? Having a good day? Good evening? Still excited about the baseball season or starting to get excited about the football season coming up? Personally, I'm uh, still excited about baseball time of the year that it's really fun, really exciting. I wouldn't say it's too early to look at pennant races, but it's definitely it's definitely around that time of the season. Start looking at at all those standings. It's gonna be interesting with the new expanded wild cards. Again, these are, uh, to me, these are a very beautiful card. And once again, if you aren't familiar, if you're new to all this, uh, the rookie cards are from the 2021. These are essentially a year behind. Um, here. First, first one here. These aren't numbered, just like in the uh, mega boxes, those are not numbered either. So, of course, if you know me, I, I like to uh, set my rookies off to the side. Got Alec Baum, Kyle Lewis, Will Harmon Killebrew, Jordan Alvarez. I don't know that he'll be able to catch up to. Uh, Mr. Aaron Judge, he is pretty, pretty far ahead of everybody right now. These black diamonds do look really nice. Uh, that's your rookie of Luis Garcia. So we get to the next five here. Tell you what, uh, O'Neill Cruz. Now he won't be in this, but uh, O'Neill Cruz for the Pirates. He is already so he's played 40 games and he's already got almost as many RBIs as the first place leader of the uh, of the Pirates. So he's only six shy of the RBI leader. Mounty, Ryan Mountcastle, Magical, Cody Hewer. One of my favorites of all time, Mr. Lou Brock. Andrew Jones. I'll be so interested to see how his, his boy does. One and only Mr. Swingman himself, King Griffey Jr. Oh, Tommy Lasorda. My goodness. Brings back some memories now that... Um, you know, sad thing that Ben Scully passed away, but seeing some of the, the old videos where uh, 
was sort of was running around on the field and stuff. Brings back some other memories. Um, times when he fell back on his butt. Things like that. Next diamond. And Grand Nemo. Now these aren't numbered either. These and the, the dark blue sapphire color. Those are probably my two favorite colors for the uh, for those different refractors. Uh, we got a numbered card there. packs here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to pull a really big card in here or not. But it's always the fun of it. You never know if you're going to get that card worth a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars or if you're just going to maybe, maybe break even. Ichiro. He was the man. So we got 13 out of a hundred. Those refractors are those are pretty nice looking. Warren Spawn. Martinez. Benintendi. There's one of those. Black Diamond. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference. Actually, these are the black diamond. I don't remember what this one's called. I'd have to look them all up again. I don't remember what that one's called. But the interesting thing is I've got so many different refractors of Roberto Alomar. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why. So, our big numbered our big numbered card is Mr. Kent from the Twins back in the day. Um, I'm not even going to try and say his name. I, I should know how to say it, but uh, Herbeck, I believe, is how you actually say it. But Yeah. I don't know. That one, that, that, that pack was for me. I... I don't know if I didn't break even, even though I got these off of eBay and they were lower than retail. Uh, I still don't know that it's, it's the, uh, the value that I paid for them. Hiding underneath there. Go even four and four this time. See if I'll change my luck. And of course, the very first one wants to be stubborn. So, if you guys have had uh, have pulled these, what's some of your favorite favorite uh, things about this set? Um, other than it's a massive set. <laughs> um, Okay, I, I really like the set. Um, I think that the, the top scrum is. I, I've got a few few of my favorite sets, but as far as um, as far as longevity and everything, I guess you could say longevity. The top scrum is one of my favorite series. Um, they all just look so nice. Um, of course, I I like that they're on the harder card stock or heavier card stock. Alomar Jr., Roberto Alomar, Sandy Alomar, Dante Bichette. Look at there. So, anybody that's not familiar with Bo Bichette's dad, this is Bo Bichette's dad, Dante Bichette. 
in his Colorado Rockies uniform. Chipper Jones, one of my favorites. Um, Chipper was one of those guys that when I first started paying attention to, to baseball and collecting way back in the 90s, Chipper was always one of my favorites. Didn't hurt much when, that I, I lived in Georgia when I was in the Army. Um, paying attention to the Braves. Express train, Nolan Ryan, of course. Gino Suarez. Kind of out there playing for uh, Seattle. Mark Tanna. Of course, he's in uh, New York playing for the Mets now. Moises Adelou in his Montreal. He's, uh, he used to also play for the Cubs. I don't know why. I just kind of remember his batting stance for some reason. I don't know why. Um, his batting stance, the way he held the bat. Um, yeah, I have no idea why. Why that ever, you know, brings back memories. Um, I'm not a Cubs fan by any means. I'm a baseball fan, but not a Cubs fan. <laughs> so, yeah. No, Tommy Edmond, utility man himself. Dave Stewart. Trent Grisham. And we got Jojo Romero. So he was part of the Quintana trade, or no, no, sorry, he was uh, he was traded with the Cardinals for uh, Edmundo Sosa, and that's I mean, I'm assuming they just did that to clear him up for space for Paul DeYoung, uh, who's been doing really well since he came back. Um, but JoJo came over to the Cardinals and got sent straight down to the minors. Oscar um, Mercado, Mercado, Fletcher, Brady Singer. No, he looks like a baby there. And I like Baum, Anderson Tala, Joey Gallo. Well, maybe a a new new scene for Joey Gallo will get his swing back on track and maybe he won't uh, strike out quite as much. Talking about the Cubs, there's old Ryan Sandberg of Hawk and Rhino. They were some of the favorites growing up. I grew up in Illinois, but I'm in central Illinois. So if you're not from around here and you're not familiar, central Illinois is about, well, from Wrigley, probably where I'm at, probably about two and a half hours from where I'm at to Wrigley, since it's so far on the north side. And then St. Louis is uh, about two and a half to two hours and 45 minutes uh, to the southwest. So naturally, the area is pretty divided between Cubs and Cards. Key Brian Hayes. And that's that other refractor there. Again, though, those ones are not numbered. Um, it's one of those where, you know, half the people, I mean, even families are divided. Half the people like the Cubs, half the people like the Cards. Um, so, yeah, I grew up not hating either one. I had family that liked both. So, I just, as I got older, I decided I kind of like, uh, I like the Cardinals better. Um, Hawk and Rhino were definitely a big part of my childhood. Those look so good. Mr. Jim Cat, in his twins uniform. Brand new Hall of Fame inductee this year. Interesting. Here's Jim Cat. Let's think about that a second. So is there anything in the, the since these are 2021, is there anything that 
hasn't been pulled out of the set or somebody thinks should have been in the set but didn't see in the set, you know. Each row again, Brandon Crawford, Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, Hernandez, Harrison Bader. He'll do good for the Yankees as soon as he gets back off the IL. He's a New York boy, so basically going back home. Like I said, I think he'll do really well in New York uh, once his foot's finally healed up. He is, he is a top-notch center fielder. Bruce Suter, one of the heroes of the 1982 World Series for the Cardinals. And finishing it off with Tony Perez. Yeah. I'm actually just going to quickly go through the backs of these again. I don't think I saw anything numbered. and I don't think I saw any blue ink. So if you're not familiar with them, uh, the ink on the front will be blue if it's an on-card autograph. That is definitely one of the nice things about this set. They are on-card autographs. They are not stickers. And it'll tell you on the back. Say, hey, congratulations. You've got the autograph. Um, just want to double check and make sure. You know, it's, so the hobby box, if you want to get your auto, you got to get the hobby box. Hobby boxes, it's at least double the price of this. Um, you can get them. Some, some of them, you know, you're going to pay three times as much as this. Um, that's just the time of the sword of manager. Um, but you're going to get your guaranteed auto. Um, I do have a few autos that I've gotten. Um, and two autos, two of my autos. That I have out of this set came out of the mega boxes. Um, I two out of the mega boxes, and I got two out of um, yeah, two out of hobby boxes. One of the hobby boxes I split with somebody else. Oh, see, I forgot that this one is a numbered. Get that one again in just a quick second here. It's going to be a little saddened that I only got one numbered card. So that I was so involved with the whole JoJo getting traded thing. So it was a 97 out of 199. Um, again, no auto that I saw. Just double checking. Making sure. Is, uh, that's really the only way you, you've got the potential of getting your big return on these. And of course, I don't know why I have that rookie card sitting there still. And of course, these are not. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. In case you are wondering, that is what you get here. Never even looked at the back of this. So I don't even know if you do have an opportunity for an auto in this in these box. Oh, there it is. An auto there. I mean, 395. I mean, it's not not the worst odds of trying to get an auto. Definitely seen a lot more difficult odds. So, of course, this is also the downside. Um, this postmark date, these packs, this set, they didn't even come out in time for you to get in on that action um, so anybody that wants to try and put their you know or send send in for for something that opportunity to try and get something free you didn't even have a chance um, a couple of those mountain castles a couple of those bombs so yeah drop me a comment let me know what you guys thought about this um you like these don't like these like i said i i do like this set um you know i think that they're 
very nice looking cards. Um, I think they'll hold up their the the cards that have some value. I think they'll definitely hold up their value since they uh, they do tend to um, with that thicker card stock. They do tend to you know grade better if that's something that you're interested in doing, sending it in to be graded. Um, you know, there's something else I did not look through in case you didn't know. So you can also you can kind of see here when you zip through you can see that there's refractors now if you're going just individually card by card when you're first doing the break you don't see it as easily but when you when you thumb through them like this you can see those cards stand out quite a bit do those back to back. So that's just a little tidbit if uh, if you're ever going through these. Don't forget to, to check for those. Um, so, yeah, because they are chrome, you're sitting there, you can't really tell until you start turning them. Then you can really tell. But when you put them side by side like that, you can 100% tell the difference in those cards. So, all right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think. And until next time, have a great day.